make yourself comfortable, relax your body, let your eyes feel heavy and start to close. In a moment, take three deep breaths all the way in to your belly and breathing slowly all the way out. These breaths will help transport you into your imagination to a magical land called Elvaria where there's something exciting happening related to baby dragons. So take the first deep breath now in all the way to your belly and slowly all the way out. The second breath in and out. And this last breath in and out. And now you find yourself in Elvaria, standing in a wide open field. In the distance, you see clusters of trees in every direction. This is a ginormous clearing. The grass is a luscious green colour and it stretches out across the ground all the way to the trees at the edge of this big clearing. Suddenly you feel a whoosh of air from above and then another and then another. You can feel the air on your face and your arms and your hair even moves as the air swooshes past. It's coming from above so you look up and oh my goodness you can see the silhouettes of two dragons flying up above you and getting closer and closer and closer until they land on the ground in this clearing. It's a good thing this clearing is so big so that it can fit these two adult dragons. Now these are no ordinary dragons, their scales are reflective, they almost look like like disco balls. These must be disco dragons. The light of the sun reflects off them, creating hundreds and hundreds of tiny golden dots all over the ground and on the trees in the distance. As the dragons move, the dots move too. One of the dragons notices you and looks you straight in the eye, then gives a great big grin and all of a sudden her scales change colour and when the other dragon notices you, it looks you straight in the face and it looks quite surprised and then it changes colour. The first dragon, a very bright, sunny, happy yellow colour. And the second is bright orange in surprise. Goodness, you've never seen dragons like this before. You've heard of chameleon lizards that can change their colours. Dragons are reptiles too, so perhaps these dragons scales work in a similar way to the chameleons, changing colour as they change their mood. The orange dragon slowly fades his colours and turns a sort of 
pinkish colour. The first dragon stays yellow. It's Delilah, the disco dragon, and she's very happy to see you. She introduces the other dragon as Disco. That's his name, Disco the Disco Dragon. They are both Disco Dragons and they have special scales that change colours. Delilah says she would like to show you something special about Disco Dragons. And she begins to walk off towards the edge of the clearing. She has big heavy footsteps and you can feel the ground shake as she moves. She runs off ahead faster than you and Disco are walking. So now it's just you and Disco walking together. You watch him as he walks. He's still a pink colour. He looks a bit shy. You tell him your name and show him your biggest, friendliest smile. He smiles back to you and starts to warm up to you a little bit. He tells you that he was surprised to see a human in, his, in their clearing and sometimes he's just a little bit shy regardless of what's happening but he can tell that you are very friendly and kind-hearted and he looks forward to getting to know you a bit better. You soon reach the edge of the clearing and as you walk through the trees you see that Delilah is leading you into another sort of clearing but the trees stretch overhead to form a canopy. So this little clearing is quite hidden. In the centre of the clearing you see a large nest built of sticks and moss and leaves. And in the middle of this nest are three shiny disco balls. This is quite odd. Disco balls in the middle of a nest. You look at Delilah. You look at disco. You think about what nests are usually for and you wonder well Delilah and disco look like disco balls in the shape of dragons. Could these disco balls be eggs? Delilah looks at you with a big smile and then she climbs up onto the nest and sits on top of the disco balls. Oh yeah sure enough those are eggs. Delilah stands up again so you can see the eggs and then she looks at you with a grin. Aren't they lovely? These are my babies, she says. Disco stretches his long dragon neck into the nest and nuzzles at the eggs. They're our babies, he says. I'm going to be a daddy dragon. He grins and looks at you and they both turn the brightest pink. You can see the love and excitement in their eyes. Oh well it is pretty exciting. You ask Delilah and Disco when the eggs are going to hatch. You would love to come back and meet the baby Disco dragons. Well says Delilah. You won't have to wait. They're hatching right now. And sure enough, you watch as the first egg cracks and out pops a little dragon head and it's the same as Delilah 
and disco, the same disco dragon scales that change colour. This little baby dragon has scales in all the different colours and they're changing quickly. Oh, it's confused and excited and happy and a little bit nervous and scared. It looks around it and starts to see the world that it lives in. It's learning already just by looking at things. Its scales start to settle a bit. They don't change quite so quickly. And it starts to turn all pink and then all yellow and then all blue. But no longer all the different colours. No longer quite so confused. Then the second egg starts to hatch and the third one too. And at the same time they pop out little heads and straight away they see each other. And they turn light pink with wide eyes. Oh, they're quite surprised. What is that little thing? Neither of them have ever seen a baby dragon before. Or a nest. Or an adult dragon. Or a tree. Or an egg or anything at all. They've just been born. Their scales do the same thing as the first baby disco dragon. They turn all different colours at once and are changing and then as the dragons look around and take in their surroundings, the scales start to slow down. They start to settle in to different emotions. And then Delilah and Disco start to nuzzle their babies. They nudge at them with their noses and give them big sloppy dinosaur, oh not dinosaur, dragon kisses of course. And soon all five of the dragons, Delilah, Disco and their three babies are all coloured pink, full of love and joy and they all snuggle up together in the nest. Wow, this was so special to see. Delilah and Disco both turn to you with big happy smiles on their faces and they tell you they are glad that you are here and that you got to meet their babies. It's time for you to go home now but you can come back anytime you like. And Disco and Delilah will be delighted to see you again. They are excited to go on adventures with their babies. Would you like to go on some adventures too? Great, they will see you back here another time. But for now, it's time to come back to your body in your own bed at home. You say goodbye to Delilah and Disco and the baby dragons as they fade away from your imagination. Do you wiggle your fingers and your toes and notice rhythm of your breaths. Taking one especially deep breath in and out, feeling so relaxed, ready for sleep and having more adventures in your imagination.